Oh my God. Nah, this is the worst thing I've had so far. Oh, that aftertaste is terrible. What the f is in this? Welcome back to the channel, folks. Hopefully y'all are having a fantastic day. Happy New Year, and hopefully you ain't failed that resolution just quite yet. In today's video, guys, I have an assortment of protein bars, some of the most popular ones out. I just got back from Vitamin Shop, and I'ma let y'all know which ones are worth your hard-earned money, which ones you should avoid, and which ones you should probably just toss in the backyard, douse in gasoline, and light on fire. Let's go! First up on the list is this Quest chocolate peanut butter bar. But this ain't the regular version, this is the hero version. I reviewed the regular one in the old video. You guys know my thoughts on that. And someone recommended the hero, said it's way better. So we're gonna give it a shot. 200 cows, 18 grams of protein, not bad. Oh boy, doesn't got a bad look to her. Boom, that's what the middle looks like, bud. Not gonna lie, seems a little dry. We'll let the taste buds be the judge of that. Not bad, a little bit of an aftertaste to her, but not bad. Kind of got like a Kit Kat texture. Hmm, not bad. I like this version better than the regular Quest Bar. 200 calories, 18 grams of protein. Not bad. We got the Bear Bells Creamy Crisp. A lot of people love this bar right here. When I was at Vitamin Shop, I was asking the guy what the most popular flavors were. So, trying to put our best foot forward, right? Give them all an honest chance. I think every bar deserves an honest chance. Ooh, I'm liking how that's looking. I'm a sucker for exteriors. That looks like fun. Boom, ooh, that feels like a moist middle. And would you look at that? Looks good to me, I always say this. You eat with your eyes first before your stomach, right? It's gotta look good. That is good. Way better than the last uh, Bear Bells bar I tried. Really good flavor. Definitely kicked that Quest bar we just had in the nuts. And this one doesn't seem to have the strange aftertaste the last one's had I tried. I'd recommend this one for sure. My Cookie Dealer Strawberry Toaster Pastry. I wasn't gonna get this, but it was highly recommended by the guy at Vitamin Shop. Cool guy over there at Vitamin Shop. They got good people over there. 460 calories, 12 grams of protein. Well, it's already failed on that alone, but hey, I guess it's here. I didn't even think to look at that. Ooh, look at that, bud. I think they burn it a little, but that's okay. Ooh, mama. That's doing something for me, folks. I don't know about y'all, but it's doing something for me. Especially that little pink center right there. Look at that. Wow, that is incredible. Incredible. That is so good. That is so good. Wow. Flavor department, I recommend that. 12 grams of protein, 460 calories. Don't recommend it. You know, it's good we covered this because there's a lot of things, right? They'll have protein on the label. You might think it's good, but if you're not reading nutrition labels, you don't really know what you're putting in your body. At the end of the day, it all comes down to how much protein you eat and how many calories you get in a day. Focus on those two things, you'll be better off for it. We got an MRE bar. This is one y'all been recommending to me for a minute, so I'm excited to try this one. All right, look at the exterior. Kind of looks like my dog created that in the backyard, but I'm still cool with it. You pick enough of those up in the backyard, you know, you kind of get accustomed. Ooh, feels a little dry, but hey, not too shabby. A little chewy. It kind of reminds me of the Barrel Bells bar we had earlier, except this is like the Gimped version, the Gimp cousin. But yeah, not terrible, but a little chewy. That's for sure. We got the NoCal chocolate chip cookie dough. Now this is a plant-based bar, vegan. And I know some of y'all think that I give vegans a hard time on this channel. I don't, I really have nothing, no problem with y'all. I laugh at you sometimes, but it's all fun and games, right? So I figured I'd include y'all in this one. 200 calories, 20 grams of protein. The nutrition's a win. Let's see the flavor. Ooh, would you look at that, bud? Doesn't look super appetizing. And the fact that I know it's made out of crushed up plant matter, those plant-based burgers can look as good as any burger. But once you know it's plants, I don't know, bud, something about it. Boom, all right, a little moist. Nope, ooh, tastes like sawdust. Tastes like back in school when they'd clean off the chalkboard and the chalk dust accumulated into a pile and they maybe added some glue and it's isn't good. I don't know how they do it, bud. With options like this, I don't know how they do it. We got the Anna Bar in the new triple chocolate wasted flavor, which just so happens, complete coincidence, drops tomorrow, January 11th at 3 p.m. Central. And they sell out quick, so I don't even know how I have this. Really, new unreleased flavor. We're gonna see how she stacks up. Oh, oh lord. Coated in chocolate sprinkles, real chocolate, real sprinkles. And let's see this. 
Oh, nice. Look at that. Chocolate chips in there too. Little crispies. It's almost like God crafted this by hand himself. Mm, I mean, it says protein packed candy bar on the front for a reason. Mm, I know I'm a little biased. Who wouldn't be in my position? Who wouldn't? But I stand firmly behind it. World's best tasting protein bar right here. And this flavor is definitely the best one we've ever launched. Real talk. We listen to y'all's feedback. Every bar, this is the new and improved version. Every flavor from here on out will be improved. Gonna have a topping. Gonna have more stuff on the inside. They're bigger and we changed the formula ever so slightly. So they're much, much softer. This is the culmination to the perfect creation. Seriously, can't wait for y'all to try this one. Tomorrow, theanabar.com. My code RGF10 will save you some money. And this one will be an online exclusive. So you gotta be there and be there right when it comes out because you guys know how it goes, man. You definitely wanna try this one. I know if you do, you won't regret it. Mm. We got the legendary cinnamon roll. I've heard really good things about this one. Hoping it doesn't let me down. We got 20 grams of protein, 200 calories. Fantastic. Ooh. I mean, that looks like a cinnamon roll. Look at the underside. When it comes to making it look like the real thing, they're doing a good job. The Pop-Tart kind of let me down, but I had the red velvet one. I'll try a different flavor soon. I swore I bought one, but it's not here. Oops. Much, much, much better than that Pop-Tart. Actually tastes like a cinnamon roll. Mmm, surprisingly good. Highly recommend it. We got this Toto's vegan sea salt chocolate chip cookie. I mean, I know it's plants. We already discussed this. I'm not gonna go into it any further. 340 calories, 10 grams of protein. Why did the vitamin shop guy point these out? I completely took his advice. <laughs> Said I was making a protein bar video and he gave me this. And that other cookie, which for all intents and purposes has more calories than a regular cookie. Be better off just buying a chocolate chip. It did taste good. Here we go. How's that look, guys? Not too bad. The fact that I know it's probably just a bunch of black beans smashed together and formed into this doesn't uh, help, but could be worse. Worse. Not terrible. Really crumbly though, it just like falls apart. If you ate this in the car, you'd hate yourself. I expected way worse. Not bad. Wouldn't recommend it, but if you happen to be one of the handful of vegans watching this, they finally got something for you. Redcon one, protein blueberry muffin. 15 grams of protein, 210 calories. Not bad. I like my stuff to have 20 grams of protein, but hey. All right, open it up. Hmm. Looks like the worst excuse for a muffin I've ever seen. <laughs> but we'll cut him some slack. It is a protein muffin. All right, here we go. Take off the little. Did anybody ever, did you ever get these on your muffins? Well, I just kind of like, mmm. Mm. Chew them up like gum. Mmm. I know I'm not the only one that did that as a kid. I can't be. That was good. I'd recommend it for that alone. Comment below if you did that. Yeah, that's what she looks like, bud. Oh my God. Nah. This is the worst thing I've had so far. <laughs> That aftertaste is terrible. What the f in this? Pea protein is the number one ingredient. That vegan shit they're sneaking in here. Followed up by beef protein isolate. So you're telling me we have pea protein and beef in here and you'll wonder why it tastes like shit. Ugh, trash. Don't waste your money. We got an Alani bar in the Rocky Road flavor. Now, for those of you that don't know, I love their energy drinks. I drink like two a day, sometimes three. It's something I'm working on. So hopefully these are as good. Don't wanna lie though, it feels a little funny. It feels a little top heavy. Can you guys see that? It's like one side's a little bunched up. Kind of shaped like a sperm. I wasn't lying, was I? Look at that. Looks like a sled. Pretty good, don't let the shape fool you. Mm, I definitely recommend this one. Mm, Alani does it again. And now guys, we got an unreleased product, two-in-one video. No one gives you value like Remy. This is a dumbbell donut. The same guys that make the apparel I'm always ranting and raving about, Young LA, they just dropped this company. They sent me these and I have not had one yet. So we're gonna try it out. 250 cows, 12 grams of protein. Better be really good. Says I need to microwave it. Be right back. And we're back. Things are actually pretty cool. I didn't realize like a construction kit. Look at that. Get an icing packet, little toppings. This is the cookies and cream one. Pretty cool. Like a toaster strudel, but for grown-ups. Oh wow. Wow, that is really good. Mmm. Wow. I mean it doesn't have a ton of protein, but for a low calorie dessert, this is really good. Mmm. The young LA boys did it again. Mm. All right, folks, that's all the bars we got here. Give me a minute, let me collect my thoughts. I'm gonna let y'all know which ones I love and which ones you should light on fire in the backyard. I'll be back.
All right, folks, I've collected my thoughts and my favorites are as follows. I really love the Alani new bar. If I didn't demolish the wrapper, I'd show you better, but there she is. It didn't quite have as much protein as I wanted, but the flavor was amazing, low in calories, great treat. I would highly recommend that. We also got the Barrel Bells bar specifically in this flavor, the Creamy Crisp. This is the first one of theirs I've had that didn't have the chemical aftertaste. Really enjoyed this. And there's something to be said about these layers in there. Can't just ignore those layers. And obviously, you guys know the world's best tasting protein bar, the Anna bar, still my favorite. If your idea is to literally not even have it taste like a protein bar, literally. No protein aftertaste, no nothing. It literally tastes like a baked good, a candy bar, if you will. This is the best tasting of the bunch. Still with 20 grams of protein. It does have a few more calories than some of these other ones, but as long as you factor them into your diet, you're gonna be good. I literally eat two or three of these a day. And your boy's doing just fine. And also shout out for the best packaging in the world. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Tomorrow, 3 p.m. Central, theandabar.com. You already know. And with some of this other stuff, I really enjoyed this cinnamon roll, but not quite enough protein for me. Literally just taste good. Same thing with that massive cookie. Couldn't recommend that guy. Remember that? Better off eating a slice of cheesecake. And then hands down, the worst thing I had today was that damn muffin. Pea protein, beef protein. What are we doing here, bud? Who signed off on this? Whoever did, we should hang them upside down and dunk them in water. This is ridiculous. And then obviously, the no-cow was terrible. Even if you're a vegan, you're lying to yourself if you like that. Well, I guess maybe if you're just eating plants, this might be good, but those are a weird people. So yeah, there you go, guys. Those are my honest recommendations. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And there is one thing, right? As much as we talk about macros and like that big cookie being too many calories, at the end of the day, as long as you eat enough protein and you eat the correct amount of calories, you can eat whatever you want and still lose weight. Law of thermodynamics doesn't lie. As long as you do those two things, you can't lose. And if you want to follow the best diet in the world, where all you got to do is follow those principles, eat foods like pizza, waffles, boneless wings, cheesecakes, ice cream, except we make the healthier, higher protein versions. Don't forget, you can always pick up a copy of the RGF Anabolic Cookbook, which you'll find at the first link in the description box. Over 350 pages, and this thing grows every time I drop a new recipe. Because once I add it to the channel, it gets added to the book for free. And I seriously know if you follow us in here, you truly do. You'll see results no matter what. You just got to do it. Seriously, most sustainable diet I've ever followed doesn't even feel like a diet. And that's the key to living a lean lifestyle. If it doesn't feel like a diet, then it doesn't even feel like you got to try to stay in shape. Hit the link down below. I know if you do, you won't regret it. So seriously, don't overthink it. Have whichever bar you want. Like I said, calories and protein. Do those two things. You can't lose. I even just put a video out a few days ago where you can figure out for yourself based on your height, stats, weight, age, all that stuff, how much you need to be eating. This one right here. Go check it out if you want that info. Knowledge is power. And speaking of power, leave a comment down below. Let me know what bars you like. What flavors? Did I mess anything up? Am I ridiculous for thinking something's bad? Let me know when I make another one of these. I might just try your flavor and that'll also enter you into the giveaway we do in every video where I give away a box of the best tasting protein bar, the Anna bar. The winner from the last video is Becky one with the comment. I just started your plan. My son lost over a hundred pounds on it over the last year. I've lost 130 and have been at a plateau for a very long time. I want to lose 20 more. I'm 69 years old. This is sustainable. Hey, Becky, congrats. hundred pounds, your son, 130 you. That's 230 pounds. Holy cow. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for the support. I'm glad it's working for you. Sustainability is the biggest thing. Consistency in anything, right? No matter what it is. Rome wasn't built in the day. Neither is a good physique. You got to be consistent day in, day out. Don't lie to yourself. Be honest. Don't be afraid to put in a little hard work and don't be afraid to get in that kitchen. You do those two things. You quite literally can't lose. Shoot me an email. I'll get a box these out to you ASAP. And for everybody else, you already know. Theanabar.com, code RGF10. We're in a ton of retailers, places like that. Coming very soon to Vitamin Shop. Very soon. Hey, yeah, new flavor launch. You don't want to miss this one. Seriously. Best flavor we've ever dropped. And that's going to wrap this up. Hopefully, y'all had fun today. I know I did. If you ever like the clothes I'm wearing, Wearing. Shout out to Young LA. We got on some of their joggers. Ooh, one of their cityscape shirts. Look at the back. I love them because it's nice and loose here, but look at the arms, baby, nice and tight. It's an optical illusion, but sometimes you need a good optical illusion. These women are getting harder to trick these days. <laughs> oh, appreciate you. Meal plans all in coaching. RichJaysFitness.com. I can make you a meal plan, tell you what to eat, break it all down. You just got to follow it. If that sounds good, check out my site. And yeah, we're out of here. Appreciate each and every one of you. Hope the New Year's resolutions are going well. And don't forget, I got a podcast that drops every Sunday. Links in the description box. I know you'll want to check it out, baby. Lots of good stuff, especially aliens. Appreciate y'all. Until next time, folks. Peace. Whoosh.